So this technique is a simple one, and you might be familiar with it. It's called a strie, and usually it's done with a glaze over a base color. So this is the color I've chosen for this technique, and I'm not going to do it with a glaze, although you can. The uh, chromatone metallics are great as a colorant for your glazes, but I'm going to use it full strength, and um, I have selected champagne, chromatone champagne. So I'm going to apply it with my four inch chip brush and then I will show you a couple different um, tools you can use to create different looks of the strie. So again, I'm gonna work in about a one foot section and you can also uh, use a roller for this process, this part of the process. I usually like to use a brush. So here it is with just my chip brush. And then I will work the next section. So another tool that I like to use a lot is a little whisk broom. You don't have to go all the way top to bottom. You can kind of break it up. And it creates a little bit more of a raw silk look. And then I'm going to show, uh, do another section. I'll show you how to do it with a squeegee. <clears throat> and I've got a squeegee that I've, just a window washing squeegee that I've got from the uh, hardware store. And then I've notched out with a um, utility knife different size notches on here. And then I'll just drag it vertically, trying to keep a steady hand. You can go back into it to create a finer look. Some combs also work. So this is using it, the squeegee horizontally as well to create kind of a plaid or uh, with the whisk broom you can create more of a linen look, the chambray look. And that is the strie.